In this afternoon's health alert, a new wave of COVID infections from the classroom to the White House. President Biden masked up in public for the first time in months after the first lady tested positive for the virus. ABC's Rhiannon Alley has the story. A rising number of COVID cases sparking new concern just as students fill classrooms across the country. New York State is sending schools COVID tests and masks. And districts in Kentucky and Texas have briefly suspended in-person classes after a surge in cases. It's tough to say COVID is back when in reality it never really left. We're just much better prepared to deal with it. COVID hospitalizations nationwide have increased more than 15% in one week. Still, hospitalizations are only about half of what they were this time last year. A new booster shot, which is expected to protect against severe disease and death from a new variant, could be available soon. The FDA is expected to approve the booster within the next week, and the CDC is expected to soon follow. I think it's important for people to start viewing this almost like we view the influenza vaccine, where it's going to be tailored every fall to the best of scientists' ability to capture the dominating circulating strain. Doctors are also warning, don't throw out expired at-home testing kits because the FDA has extended when certain brands expire. The agency has posted a list of new expiration dates on its website. Meanwhile, some healthcare facilities in New York and California have now reinstated mask mandates as a precaution. President Biden showed up to a Medal of Honor ceremony wearing a mask yesterday, one day after the first lady tested positive. But... He removed the mask while giving an award to an 81-year-old veteran. The White House says Biden has tested negative.